show you something. Come here. You gotta face it, Sam. This is 2017. This is 2017. Even the best tracker couldn't find a cherry in these parts. Well, what am I gonna do, Slim? It's a cherry or nothing? Let me show you a couple of things. Your vocal patterns, reflex action, personality. I don't make them like this anymore. You uh, do know how rare and valuable. Now, this is our Bambi 14 model. Brand new, never been used. Now, this is our Bambi 14 model. Brand new, never been used. Well, you guys, the future is here. Everything that these people plan to do is now coming to fruition. We know that certain keys will be unlocked in the end times. Keys to the abyss and other capabilities that we had not seen to this point. Now, Paul Carey sent me this movie to review called Cherry 2000. It's a 1987 post-apocalyptic film, but it's set in the year 2017 which is just a few years ago. And it has all the hallmarks of everything that we have recently discovered on this channel. The story centers around this guy, whose female companion android short circuits. The entire film is about him hiring Melanie Griffith to help him find a clone of this android. And then he's got this compact disc with all of her information stored on it that he can insert on the new android, the clone, to get her back exactly the way she was. Now here's where things get creepy. The android clones are stored at a casino called Pharaohs. Here you can see the label says something like something S and then artificial intelligence or S-A-I for short. Well, there is an ancient city in Egypt called S-A-I-S where there was a school that taught everything that has to do with women, gynecology. This ancient city S-A-I-S also is the ancient home and legend of Atlantis as well as the location of Osiris' grave and the sky goddess Neith. Now, you can look at the opening scenes of this film, and now it begins to make more sense. They show these suds bubbling out as she dies. This is the reproductive essence bubbling forth. And this is the mechanism by which she's reanimated, right? A clone is made, and then 
you download the artificial intelligence into the clone. And this is exactly what was going on in ancient times in Egypt. This is why they preserved themselves the way they did. So the end times they could be reanimated. We discovered how the canopic jars that the pharaohs housed the black goo DNA of their organs that would later be used to reanimate them. So we now see what's being depicted in Cherry 2000. And this seems to fall right in line with their timeline of how they want this all to play out. The reanimation of ancient gods to bring about the end times and the great final battle. Take care and be safe, you guys.